Hello everyone. So welcome back to the channel. I'm in Val d'Oran again. Um, but where I'm not as high up in the mountains. We've just come off the main road actually. There's a, um, a refuge behind me which you can stay in. But we're actually hoping, I'm with Isabel again, my friend Isabel. But we're actually hoping to find some mushrooms. It is the end of October. Um, but there's been some unseasonally um, warm weather here, so we're hoping there still be still be some around. Isabel knows a little bit about mushrooms, so she knows what she's looking for. But she's not certain that we'll actually find any. I'm a little more hopeful, but then I'm not a mushroom expert. So it's just a, a little short hike, really, probably about three or four hours in total. Have to go through some beautiful forest here, which has still got the beautiful autumn colours. And then we're heading up to um, another um, another lake, and it's called Lake um, um, Bassaberry or Bessaberry, Bass Bessaberry, Bessaberry. That's it. And um, it meant, it meant, apparently, it's beautiful. One of the many lakes in this area. And so, hopefully, on the way through this forest, or on the way back, we might pick up some mushrooms. There's quite a lot of leaves are falling in this area, so. They may be more difficult to spot. All being well, we'll get a few to cook some with a little bit of spaghetti later or tomorrow for our dinner. So, let's see what happens today. Enjoy.
So we're just going up to probably the steepest part of the the climb we've done so far. It's just too dry for mushrooms. There mustn't have been any rain or moisture here for a long time because all the ground is dry. Because the ones we do find, the mushrooms are just dried out. So we're not going to have any joy today. I also scratched my face. It's not, it's only a scratch, but going through the trees, one of the pine branches came back and smashed, smacked me in the face. But should have been more careful, shouldn't I? So yeah, we're just, as I say, in this steeper bit now. Went past some amazing waterfalls, as you've probably seen. Absolutely incredible area. Surprised we've never been here before, considering it's relatively close to Les. It's um, in the car, it's about 20 minutes away. So yeah, I'll be coming up here again, as I said. Whew. We're both out of shape. This winter is all about getting back out and doing some local hikes and losing a few pounds as well as getting myself fit for for next year. Oh, haven't really done, apart from that last solo trip I did, um, I haven't even really been doing much exercise at all just since Obviously since early in the year with what happened with my mother and my brother, I haven't really had much, well, va va voom, let's say. It's been a little bit of a depressed state and I guess which is only natural, but so I haven't done anything in the way of fitness. And, but now it's starting to come round to the idea of getting back out there again and even if I just go for a local hike for an hour or two just to get back in the swing of things that's what I'm just going to start doing when I get back it's about time really so whew, it's quite difficult this bit I think we're near the top now so if we are I'll show you the, the view from up there because we're, we're, we're very close to Aneto again. Pretty much wherever you go in this area, you're pretty much overlooked by Aneto and Maladetta. And so once you get to the top of any particular climb, they're usually in view. Unless you're on the other kind of the other side of the valley, you can't really see them there, but usually you can see them from wherever you are. And so they always make for a really stunning, whoa, watch yourself. They always make for a really stunning sight because uh, it's just such a majestic mountain. Um, there's no snow on it yet from what we could see. But yeah, I'll see what if we're close by up here. And I'll give you the view from the top. <sighs> knackered. <laughs> Absolutely knackered. I'm pretending I'm not though. I say, no, it's fine. It's fine. No, no. Easy. Jeez. Oh, Absolutely worn out. Need a siesta. Still quite easy though, isn't it? It's okay.
Okay. Fredolik? Fredolik. Fredolik. Yes. Okay, vale. Oh, wow. We found more. What are these called, Isabel? Yes, this is uh, Rossignol. Rossignol. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Yes. So we're just packing up. We've just stopped here. Well, we've just had lunch, as you've probably seen. A bit of our hiking meal now is um, we buy those little quinoa uh, pots and we just throw some sardines in them, oily sardines. And I've got to say, as a little lunch, it's really, really nice. I don't, um, I'm pretty much vegan. Well, eat a vegan diet anyway, but I, um, when you come up here, there's a lot of the shops and stuff, they don't really sell much in the way of vegan um, goods. It's a lot of farm sort of area, so there's lots of local meats so and uh, fish and various things. So um, we, we didn't make a sandwich, so I thought, oh, let's just have the, the sardines again. Very, very nice. Behind me, I'm not sure what mountain is. I'll have to, um, I'll have to look it up on, um, on a map when I get back home because we've come back into this um, beautiful lake and the mountain is the Aneto is the other side which you'll have seen on the on some previous shots this mountain range i'm not i don't think it's maladetta i think because maladetta is next to Aneto, unless it i mean we're not sure but i don't think it is but it's a stunning lake first time here in this in this particular one and again i mean it's just an incredible area it's the whole place is magical all the I imagine part of Canada is like is like this. It's got all the pine, lots of pine, loads of it, with um, with this really impressive kind of mountain range, the Pyrenees, all around you. It's just, I mean, it's stunning. I absolutely love being here. It's my favourite place in the whole world. I'll be honest. I'll probably feel, do a little bit of filming going back, but probably not much talking to camera because um, it, we're going back the same way we came. But I'll show you some more shots of Veneto on the way back. And also, I forgot to mention earlier, um, I know it, it happened a few months ago now with my mother and brother, but even people I've never met through the YouTube channel or through my Instagram, uh, other, other hikers, other um, people who do wild camping, who uh, follow my channel, got in touch to give their condolences and I really really appreciate it I know I haven't really talked about it much on camera because I, I I don't really want to I mean I'll be perfectly honest with you but I do appreciate all the comments that were sent um, it was you know it was straight to the heart and you know I, 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 I eternally grateful for all the, the the nice comments and the condolences so thank you very much for that um, but you know life does go on and we just have to make the best of it and why we're here and so, as I said earlier, going to start getting out a bit more now and trying to get some more hikes in and come up here again soon. I, I, because I don't know this area too well. I, I wasn't sure how much snow there was going to be, but it doesn't. There's no snow in this area yet for maybe another another month or so. So I may be able to get up here for. I'd love to do a wild camp here, um, but I've still got to fix my mat. If you see my previous video, the mat's still not. Um, it's it's not fixed. Um, it's still going down when I when, even though I've tried to fix it it's there's still something going on so it keeps deflating so I'm, I may buy a new one but anyway that's for another time um, again thanks very much for watching I do appreciate you all all the likes and all the comments um, and feel free to share it around and but anyway hopefully I'll see you on the next one but until then just look after yourselves take care bye for now